Hello and welcome to Zarlor Enderman. It's my Enderman grinder in the end. As you can see, it's mostly made of stuff from the end. I've got obsidian and endstone. Got some glowstone from the nether. Get back. Uh, and you can see here the place where the Enderman dropped down from above. A two by one space for easy XP harvesting. Hello. Uh, if you look up there really far, you can see the Enderman on the glass floor. And if we go to the other side, you can see some more Endermen. There's even more up on this way, on this side. They're starting to trickle down, but if we push this button here... It triggers a row of pistons pushing horizontally so they all fall down. Well, most of them. If we push it again, we can get some more to fall down. should be falling far enough for the one-hit kill. I'm at level 17 right now. see there's a lot of ender pearls here and we've got so many now that uh, I think I'm going to put some lava uh, trash dispensers here right around this area so we can just dump them in there. Don't really need any more. I've got an ender pearl elevator but uh, we've got so many ender pearls I don't think we need any more. This button here triggers the same button as above. It goes all the way up to the top again and, and triggers the piston pushing. And if you time it right, you can push the button down here and keep a pretty steady flow of Enderman coming. Level 26. Let's see how long it takes to get to level 30. glowstone is about there um, and hit the enderman, but that was uh, kind of tedious because my end grinder didn't really have enough uh, levels to keep a population steady, and I'd have to run from end to end. So now with a 2x1 block here, it's really easy to keep it populated and not have to run around. Okay, we're at level 30, so what you do is you'd come up here where I've got an enchantment station. It's got the old level of bookshelves, but it still works for level 30, of course. And uh, let's take a look up at the actual grinder itself. There's a ladder that runs all the way up the inside here. Now the pistons that you hear now are the pistons that have a tripwire that push them all into the single row of the glass floor ready for pushing. There's also a button up here at the top that does the same thing as below. So let's push that button and watch it fall down from here. some more, take a look at the rest of this. This is the area that has the tripwire row that pushes the pistons. And it keeps firing to make sure that they are not stuck in the pistons and also that they get pushed off properly. So as you can see, here's the piston pusher levels. The sticky pistons have snow blocks in front of them. That's not white wool. Uh, that's because it took a lot of white wool and it was hard to come by materials in the nether. It used to cost $500 every time we teleported out to the nether. So having a snow golem 
with uh, unlimited snow was an easy way to get the building materials. You can see that single row with the tripwire above it from here, pushing them all into the glass floor row. And on this side, it's the opposite side. Now there's glass and half slabs up at the top here so the Enderman won't spawn up here. And you can see my dirt path that I took to get from the island of the end out to here so that we'd be far enough away so Enderman wouldn't spawn on the island. They'd only spawn in the grinders. Let's go down to that uh, vine level and take a look at the piston pushing again. I tried to make the vines long enough uh, and close enough to the bottom so that they wouldn't get hurt at all before they made their final drop. Otherwise, they would die bef when they hit the ground below. It works fairly well, but sometimes they still take a little damage here, but it's not enough to worry about. Let's push this a couple times. It never gets old. Again, this design was based on JL2579's uh, blaze spawner. He had this in the nether because he couldn't use water there to push the blazes. Or he couldn't use water, of course. And he can't use water to push endermen, of course, because they'd teleport away. So he made, uh, made a good idea to go ahead and try it here in the end. Let's take a look at the live map here for a second. This is the grinder from above, top-down view. And this is the side view. And let's take another quick flyby of the whole grinder. Well, that's about it for the tour. Thanks for watching. Come to the Wooden Axe server and become a donator. You'll be able to go to the end and the nether, and you can visit uh, Res TP Zarlor Enderman.